So if you're a software developer in the United States, it is more than likely that you're going to be making about double what your companions make who are not software developers. But if you're watching this video, you probably already know that and you're curious about how much you're actually going to be making. Answering the question of an entry level software developer salary is super easy. You can just Google this anywhere. But all you guys live in different places, so the salary ranges are going to be different. Honestly, I'm not going to make 50 different videos for all y'all living in different places. So in this video, we're just going to have a control state, lucky state of North Dakota, one of our most average states based on salary and cost of living. And the average salary we're going to use is about $60,000. We're going to compare all of the big boy states like California and New York, as well as some of the fastest growing cities in the United States like Houston, Texas, to find out what salary you would actually need to have in these new cities. In case you're curious, Normal Illinois was also in the running, but turns out Normal Illinois is not very normal, so we had to take that one out of the running. Now, if you want to double your earning potential and break into the tech industry, make sure you smash that subscribe button for more tech-related content. Now, it's pretty clear to most people that if you're living in a high cost of living state like California or New York, you're going to need to make a much higher salary than if you're living in somewhere like West Virginia or North Dakota. But what most people don't consider is the city cost of living as well. Living in San Francisco or Bakersfield is going to be dramatically different, especially considering that San Francisco has a special San Francisco tax. For example, what would be classified as low income in San Francisco would be a dream salary for most other states. With a salary of about $104,000 a year, that's over a six-figure salary, you are considered low income in San Francisco. The reason why this matters at all is if you're moving to San Francisco from somewhere else with a lower cost of living and you see a high salary like this, it might not actually be as high as you think. But enough with these useless hypotheticals, we're going to move into the actual numbers. We're going to be comparing some of the biggest tech hubs in the United States, including Silicon Valley, New York, and Washington, D.C. Now, as I was saying before, it's very, very city dependent how much salary you're going to need to make to be comfortable. So we're going to choose one of the more expensive cities in Silicon Valley, San Francisco. Well, if you're the average North Dakotan who's making a salary of about $60,000 per year, and you decided that you wanted to up and move to San Francisco, you would have to make roughly $14,000 in San Francisco to maintain your current standard of living. That's kind of insane, especially when you consider that the housing costs in San Francisco are going to be 215% more. Moving into another huge tech hub in the United States, and that is New York City. We're going to be focusing on Manhattan because Manhattan is insanely expensive. Now, if you're living in New York City, it is also home to one of the largest pigeon and raccoon populations, allegedly. I have yet to confirm, but if you're a New Yorker, I'm sure you can verify in the comments down below. So if you're living in Manhattan, New York, how much more do you need to actually make? In general, high-frequency trading firms are going to offer a much, much higher salary than most other tech companies. This is, of course, excluding the fan companies, but just to give you some numbers to jumble around, high frequency traders on average make about $140,000 a year just based on their bonuses. This number is insane considering that the average American won't make this amount in two years, but it's even more mind boggling when you consider that the average software developer has a bonus of about 10k per year, which means that quants are making roughly 14 times the amount that the average software developer will based on bonus alone. That's all fine and dandy, but what if you're just an average North Dakotan thinking about moving to Manhattan, New York with your $60,000 a year salary? If you wanted to maintain your current standard of living in New York, it's going to be much, much more difficult. The housing costs in Manhattan, New York are roughly 400% what they are in North Dakota. In case you didn't catch that, the exact number is 396% in Manhattan, in New York than in Bismarck, North Dakota. The actual salary you'll need to keep up in this high-paced city is around $150,000. Now, this is really, really good information if you're thinking about making the move and someone's offering you less than that and you want to maintain the same standard of living. If you're not concerned with chasing skyscrapers or the highest possible salary that you can get as an entry-level software developer, Washington, D.C. is a great option, especially if you want to work in the government sector. Washington, D.C. is the political center of the United States, so that is a great option. One of the biggest drawbacks here is, of course, that the major industry there is politics, and if you want to get away from that, this is not a great place to live. Another big drawback is the infrastructure just isn't there for pigeon populations. So if you like bird watching, if you like pigeons, Washington, D.C. might not be a great place for you. Another big drawback to living in Washington, D.C. is the cost of living is roughly 60% higher than in North Dakota, and the housing costs are roughly 150% higher. But if you remember our two previous examples, that is actually okay. 
Now, if we're looking at the salary that you're gonna need to actually make to maintain your same standard of living in North Dakota, that is roughly $95,000 per year. Now, if you're like the other 90% of America who does not live in these three ultra high cost of living cities, you're probably shaking your head. No worries, for these next three cities, we're gonna go over the hottest and fastest growing places in the United States. Or, you know, the top three that I picked that I liked out of a list. But anyway, we're gonna be going over those. That would be Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, and Atlanta, Georgia. Now, if you're noticing any commonalities between these three, it is that they are all incredibly humid and hot. If you're interested in living in Atlanta, Georgia, or Dallas, Texas, you can make roughly the same salary that you would in North Dakota. In Dallas, Texas, that's around $62,000 a year, and in Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia, that's about $61,000 a year to maintain that $60,000 average salary, average life in North Dakota if you're moving to either of those cities. Looking at Houston, Houston gets a lot more interesting because you can actually make around $55,000 a year instead of $60,000 in Houston and have a better quality of life. Housing costs are also about 20% lower in Houston than in North Dakota. So if you're considering moving somewhere else for a job, Houston might be a cool option. Now, if there is one possible takeaway I could give to you from this video, that is to consider location when you're considering compensation. When you start to get all these competing offers because you've been prepping for forever and doing your leak code and, and projects, everything, you're gonna get a bunch of competing offers. And it's really important to compare these different cities based on cost of living, not just based on compensation alone. Now, the calculator that I've been using to spit all these numbers at you throughout this video is NerdWallet's calculator. I absolutely love NerdWallet, and this calculator is fantastic for trying to figure out how good a job offer actually is. Now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can see more in the future.